Hello and welcome to another Comp Wiz Tutorials. I'm Ross, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your head appear to be inside a wall, or like coming out of a wall. This will be our eighth tutorial in the GIMP series, and let's start it. Now, uh, you'll need to open a picture that you'll have like taken with your webcam or so some close-up picture of yourself. I'm going to use uh, one that I have right here. It's, um, <laughs> these are pictures from my uh, six of me. Here, I'll use this one. And then also, you will need to uh, use this picture or uh, a different one that you have picked, but uh, this one works very well. I will uh, have the link in the description. Here's, here will be our background. And put, oh, uh, make sure this background is below your uh, face. So, but first we'll need to add an alpha channel to your face layer. And now we'll need to use our intelligent scissors, like I uh, showed you in the previous tutorial, how uh, to take out your face. I'm going to speed this up for you so you don't have to watch me use the intelligent scissors. I think you guys know I know how to do it. So uh, I'll speed this up right now. And now that we're back, uh, since I uh, kind of selected my uh, skin of my neck, uh, also it looks pretty cool uh, when it's in the wall. It uh, looks like your only your skin's coming out of the wall, but that's just to your preference. So you can choose whatever you want. So now that you have selected your skin, uh, go into select and invert it, and then just delete it. And since we already added an alpha channel that is transparent, see it's uh, the background from the top layer is transparent. So now just go into select all. And in your uh, face layer, we're going to need to touch up these edges. But it always depends on how good you did of uh, selecting it. So just go around. I'm using a fuzzy brush so it looks smooth. Uh, you can use a normal brush, but fuzzy brushes work a, a lot better when you're going around something. And that looks pretty good. Uh, okay. Now that you've uh, done that, we'll need to go into our, your face layer and do colors. Desaturate. This will take all the colors of the layer and just take them out of it. So it pretty much just makes it a grayscale or a black and white, but pretty much a grayscale. So now that you have that selected, go into your layers mode and click overlay. Notice how you cannot see it very well, so you'll need to duplicate it so it, uh, you can see it a little better. Uh, you can maybe duplicate it another time depending on how much you want it uh, it to be visible uh, and then maybe tone the last one down on the opacity so that it kind of looks like uh, you're actually in the uh, wall but it doesn't look that great because of the rough edges we'll need to go back into our eraser tool and go to the bottom of those layers that you duplicated and just go around the edges. You w might not be able to see it or it'll just turn lighter or so, uh, but you it'll come out good at the end. So we'll just keep going, go all around it. These hard edges don't look good when, you, uh, when you're when you doing backgrounds. Then go into your second one, maybe do a little less, uh, but not as much as the first one. Just so it uh, actually you have an image to end up with. Air. So if you don't have this one, it looks a lot lighter. Don't have this one, even less lighter. But um, 
if you don't have the background, it just looks normal because overlay it's overlaying onto the transparency so it doesn't do much. So now you can uh, pretty much depict myself out of that, but I'm going to turn it up a little bit so because it's a little bit hard to see. Uh, you can even gosh and blur some of it. Blur, gosh and blur by about maybe five or so. Just so it looks, you know, not rough edges. And we're going to also add a cool text. Just go into your, for your font, uh, stencil works pretty good. Uh, for what we're going to, I'm going to do rock in all caps. And then, uh, just, I'm going to do about 64 maybe. Yeah, a little bigger, 72. Oh, that's still small. 80. 100? Perfect. Now we'll add it right there. And you don't need to change any of the colors on this. You just need to discard the text information and then go into overlay. And then, that looks pretty good. Uh looks if you took your time on this you can make the edges look even better but uh, I just tried to keep this tutorial pretty short and that's how to make your face look like it's appearing inside rock and have a text that looks like it's also uh, stamped into the rock or so <laughs> just uh, thanks for watching my website is compwiztutorials.webs.com uh, visit my channel on YouTube, Compwiz Tutorials. Uh, please rate, comment, or subscribe. Thanks for watching.